folks. I'm gonna apologize for the wind noise in advance. I mean, I, I guess it's just gonna be a common theme. Here comes the next project. Are you wondering why it's backing up? It's, our customer just purchased this. He thought it was just a cable issue. Come to find out the sequencers are out in the transmission. So we got to pull the cab and whatnot. It's going to be fun. You're not going to want to miss this. Good sounding tractor. Yeah. Chris, tell them what's going on with it. Okay, this tractor has a, uh, it, it's like two transmissions in one. It has a four speed gear transmission, and then it has a high and a low and reverse. With a low and high, has synchronizers in the transmission and the synchronizers are worn out. The four speed works fine. You can put it in all four gears and you can put it in reverse, but you cannot put it in low or high. So you can't go forward. So we're going to have to remove the cab, split the tractor and get the shaft out of the transmission that has the synchronizers and replace the synchronizers fun cool deal well with that said stay tuned and we appreciate you watching all right everybody so before we tear down into this thing two off of far first thing we're going to do is go ahead and drain our oil out and then we're going to take this inspection cover off and verify that what we suspect it is, it is. So let's get the oil out. See this right here? See how much slack there is in that right there? Oh, yeah. There's clutches, little clutches inside this shifting collar. Well, those clutches are worn down, so it makes that much slack. So that gear, when you shift it, it goes over these teeth, which the clutches slow this gear down you know to line it up so it can engage in this t these teeth on the gear so since those clutches are worn so much it won't let it go far enough to engage in that gear is the problem very cool so we have to take the cab off split the tractor pull the shaft out just to replace those synchronizer clutches inside that's a long way to go to get there so all right well that verifies that so we'll be splitting it yep all right without further ado let's split a case do you ever go to work and you got a whole bunch of ducks under your equipment yeah, maybe that's only us, but yeah, there's a whole bunch of ducks. Sorry about the wind noise, y'all. So, off camera, I just disconnected a couple of our lines. And uh, so now I'm just going to go around and I'm going to start disconnecting all of the lines, all of the linkages and whatnot. And... Uh, you know start getting everything that has to pass both through the floor of the tractor being the linkages or hoses like the ac lines heater hoses uh steering controls everything that passes through the cab has to be disconnected 
so and take care of that i'm going to try to film as much as i can but today we are dealing with some very aggressive wind and it keeps blowing the camera over a very very annoying problem to have but uh yeah over here we're gonna have to disconnect all of these lines and like i say our accelerator cable we've got some hoses hey ducks be quiet we're trying to film over here huh you hush it so as you can see it's been quite some time since filters and, and probably other maintenance has been done to this piece of equipment um oh i believe they also want to fix the air conditioning that's gonna be fun all right let me set up and let's start getting after it Okay, everybody hopefully I'm gonna get this filmed before the wind really kicks off because today we're under a wind advisory so you know it, it's spring in Texas behind me we're still working on uh, this case 2090 and we are now on the second day we got started late yesterday on this so you know we've only got like three hours into this four I think actually with that said I've got to continue on get the cab off so we can split this thing and get to those sequencers so without further ado I'm gonna get set up thanks for watching
God, I'm sure you can hear this wind. It's just, it's a wind storm. What can I say? It's ridiculous. But uh, with that said, it's time to get this cab off. So I'm gonna do what I can to film it. But uh, the wind keeps blowing the thing over. So bear with me. Here we go. And right there, that's as far as the David Brown ever got. Just by the way, the cab, especially, especially if it has a full tank of fuel, is very heavy. You're going to need a heavy piece of equipment. You're going to need something pretty strong to get that cab off. So, with that said. Alright, so we got us a piece of equipment a little better suited for this pass. With that said, how about a loader? So... I know it's windy and whatnot, but we're just gonna go for it, all right? Everybody, we're finally ready. I'm big to get that cab off. Or your shop well equipped. Well, we still gotta prop this cab up a little more. And then, then it's time to get this thing split. Stay tuned.
Good morning, everybody. Well, as you just saw in the video, we got the cab off yesterday. It is a brand new day. It is a beautiful day. Unlike yesterday where we just finished storms and had to come out here and get this cab off. and It was windy and miserable. So... I'm glad that's over with. Of course, this is Texas, and it's early spring, and, you know, it ain't Easter yet, so, if you know you, what that means, you know what it means, and if you don't, well, you're probably not from here, but around here, usually, usually, at least up until Easter, it's just nasty. It's nasty in North Texas. It is. So... With that said, as you can see, that cab's, it's perched there. It's sketchy. Yeah, I'll admit it. It's sketchy. That was sketchy from day one. But that gets us to here. As you can see, it is perfectly clean. I mean, come on. There ain't nothing on there at all. It's all spotless, right? <laughs> oh, it's, it just goes in the territory, y'all. So, I'm betting yours probably won't be much cleaner unless you power washed it before you got started. But anyway, with that being said, hey, are your ducks in a row? I mean, Chris's are usually. Kind of funny. But. All right, so what we've got to do is we've got to get the rest of the hydraulic oil drained out of it because you can see it's, it's clearly not all of it out of there. And I've tried on two different occasions and I still, I've still got a case full of oil. I don't know what's going on here. We're going to try to pull the filter basket and I don't know, see see if maybe that lets it out that oil's got to get out of there because we gotta we gotta split this dude you know right here so bunches of blocks and a jack and you know get all this stable and then i've got to get another jack out here thrown on something that'll you know try to roll and get this thing pulled apart. Hmm. And Chris is out of town. Maybe we'll get nerdy Ethan. Who knows? Who knows? Big old goofy nerdy Ethan. Maybe he'll help us out today. We'll see as the day goes by. I don't know. Maybe he'll be in this. Maybe he won't. Don't know. We'll find out together. But with that being said, let me get everything set up and let's try to let's try to get this stuff apart. Bunch of, look at y'all. Alright, well sorry about that indecency there folks. I mean this here is a family channel and all. But get over here remember how I was talking about ducks in a row look here they come there's more ducks and they're in a row I'm just saying if you got ducks in a row well you I, I don't have any ducks to have in a row so I'm impressed are your ducks in a row comment down below it, it's entertaining to me it's entertaining to me just I, I got I got questions. You got ducks and I got questions. Okay, I, I'm just trying to say it. All right, so I get in here and show you a, a dilemma. I'm not for sure what's going on yet. The drain plugs out. You can even see a little bit of daylight coming through it right there. And I mean, clearly, the lower reservoir is empty, but yet. Clearly that part's full. There's a drain plug here. I'm gonna see if I've got something 
that I can undo it with. I think Chris got all the big stuff like that with him, and I don't have anything quite that large in an Allen. So, we'll see what's going on here and see if I can figure out why it's not draining down to this part. So, I don't know. Maybe get the borescope camera out or something. Let me figure it out. We'll go from there. Got ducks hanging out underneath the tractor and everything again but anyway it's time to split this thing here in just a little bit we've got it drained and for the most part everything's situated so once I get it jacked up and everything lined out we should be able to unbolt it and slide this through the part and for that task we have help it's Christian it's Goofy Ethan. Goofy Ethan. Oh, now Goofy Ethan's going to call himself Goofy. And look at them both trying to flex. Okay. <laughs> They're both Goofy. Anyway, let us get set up and uh, see if we can get where we can do this safely without some additional help. And... We'll get to cracking this thing. So, I guess without further ado, here we go. everybody so it is indeed a different day and we've got our wrench everything's pretty well set up just gonna jack that jack back up a little bit more and we're ready to split this dude so with that said yeah you can you can hear that all the birds say it's it's wake time i'm i'm still i'm not convinced I'm not convinced yet. I'm physically here. That'll have to be good enough. All right, I'm gonna get set up and we'll get a video made. Here we go.
All right, everybody, so we've got this thing ready to split. So here in a moment, Chris will join me and we're gonna do just that. We'll get this thing split. So here we go. All right, everybody. So as you can see, it's coming apart and it is apart. Sometimes you gotta use your vehicle. I mean, I'm just saying. As you can see, he's using the come along. That's coming apart, so. It's finally apart, so now we gotta get the rest of it tore down. Here we go.
all right so we found we're going to, have to go a little bit further as you can see I've already cleaned off the second inspection plate I've already unbolted it as well I've got to figure out why it's still held into its position something else still has it held so we'll figure that out but also as you can see the levers here are actually held in by this long pin so after I remove our inspection plate and I can see the back side of our pin I'm gonna see how it's held in I think I think there's a drift pin right here and whenever we move it back or forward that should loosen our drift pin and we should be able to get it out and then then we've got to get out this assembly here which we'll know more about it once we have our inspection cover off so let me get to the inspection cover and get it out of the way and we'll go from there so here we go all right bad news sports fans so as you can tell by now that's not coming out from there that shaft has to go backward for this sequencing setup and gears and whatnot to come out so guess what that means well at the very least what that's going to mean is all of this off and then the whole rear case of the diff has to come off so reluctantly here we go All right, everybody, so just off camera, after I disconnected all my lines and took all my hardware out so that we can get this off, you know, the whole rear housing has to come off so that we can get to everything. I popped the snap ring out, so now the PTO shaft is loose, okay? We'll probably pull that out here in a moment. And I went ahead and took a sharp chisel and a good hammer 
and just got here at the top and popped it loose because these are going to be glued okay they're, they're going to use glue glue these together i can guarantee you that so i mean you can you can see the remnants of the glue right there so yeah they have to or otherwise it's going to leak so once you pop your glue then you can just use your pry bars and pry it out towards the edge okay the edge of the two bolts and then you're just gonna have to you know put your bolt or something up here with a chain and then lift this dude up and out of here because it's, it's gonna be heavy y'all so we'll probably use the tractor front end loader but anyway here we go all right everybody got us an outlet to go in our rear housing got to come over here and uh snatch us up a chain here i think that's the one we're gonna be after there's something with a good round eye and it didn't pick up this bolt or this eyelet then i'm gonna pass through it yeah fat all this walking fast is getting me all right chris bringing the tractor get you to something that looks like this wow so uh that's exciting right i mean if you've never seen anything like this on the inside well heavy equipment fans this is something to see wow so anyway give us a moment to get set up and we'll see where to go from here i mean essentially as you can imagine those axles have got to come out so that the center section can come out so that we can finally get up there to that shaft and get it out this ain't getting no better so all right all right everybody so after you get your rear cover off you're gonna find that there is a uh oh snap ring there we go i couldn't think of it chris saved me snap ring and oh it's just so easy to get off on the inside of there yeah it ain't either but uh as you can see i'd already pulled the front shaft out and laid it out and now we're trying to get the back and uh you see chris laying out parts i tell you what what i'm gonna do is shut up and let chris tell you what he's doing and why he's doing it okay what we're doing we're sliding that shaft out and all your gears and spacers come off of the shaft as you slide it out so we're laying them out in the order that they come out so when we reassemble it it'll be a whole lot easier to put it in without having to try to figure out what gear goes where and that way we'll make sure we don't leave out a spacer good deal well i tell you what i'm gonna save y'all all the wind noise because yeah this you know it's windy what can i say so i'm gonna get you on time lapse 
and uh, see if we get this part. Okay guys, so in the next clip, it accidentally got put in time lapse while he was giving you the proper explanation, but what you were looking at is the actual synchronizers and the teeth that are torn down on that. Whenever we go and do our our rebuild, I'll try to show in in better in better light what the problem is. So with that said, stay tuned and to be continued. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and hit the like button and don't forget to share and hit that notification bell.